A while back, we created a video about how you could use Madcap Flare and bring in API reference content to have a unified center for a developer portal where everything looks the same. And I thought in this video, I'd highlight some of the, or one of the new features that comes with the latest version of Madcap Flare, which is the ability to bring in markdown files and how that might affect how you would take API reference content and automate the process for that to appear within a developer portal. So let's start at the beginning and look at or talk about a little bit about what is Madcap Flare. And it is a authoring tool, a platform designed for creating help files, knowledge bases, and also if you wanted printed content such as PDFs or printable content, I should say. So Madcap Flare looks like this. You have your essentially bucket of information on the left, all of the topics that you will have in your project. You have an editing environment where you can write and edit the text. And because you can single source and generate different outputs, you have tables of contents where you can bring in the topics that you want to have included in the content that you want to create. And what it will generate is, for example, a knowledge base that looks something like this. This is in HTML5. When you're creating an API, a lot of companies or teams now are using something called the Open API Specification File or the Swagger File to define what will be in the API, the bits of data that can be exchanged and also what is and isn't acceptable in terms of querying that API. And so some organizations use something called the Swagger Editor to create this API specification file, and that can generate some HTML output of what the different capabilities are for the API. However, what you might want is to have that information within with all the other information that you've created for a developer portal. So how can we bring that content into Flare to enable us to do that? One option within the Swagger Editor is you can save your open API specification file in YAML or JSON format. What we want to get it into Flare is to have it as Markdown. Another thing to consider is that some people might want to create their open API specification file in a text editor rather than within the Swagger editor, a text editor like this one, which is called Atom. So either way, what we end up with is a file, and it can be a file with the .yaml extension. So first step is we need to convert that into being a markdown file. So there are a number of different applications available for converting from the open API specification to markdown. So one of which is something called OA3-MD. And this is what's called an NPM package. So you need to install NPM first, and then you can install OA3-MD. And what that enables you to do is from the command line, convert the YAML file to Markdown. So we have installed already NPM and OA3 on this machine, so we can convert the file. And that's the file converted. If we go into our text editor, this is what our file looks like. 
OK, let's bring in this file into a project. So we bring in our markdown file. We make one other change, and that is not to create a new style sheet. So we have then brought in to our project the Swagger file converted to be HTML. And this is what it looks like in Flare. So if we want to then include that in our knowledge base, we need to add it to our table of contents. and save our table of contents. And now when we create an HTML knowledge base, now within Flare you can automate the process for building the outputs and it can also check if it needs to re-import the content from outside before it builds. So you always have the most up-to-date version of the file. So previously, we, it looked like this. Now we have on our, met, our list of table of contents on the left, our API reference file. And we can amend the style sheet within Flare if we want the look and feel to look different. So Flare's new markdown import capability gives us another way, probably a simpler way of taking an open API specification file, a Swagger file, and bringing it into Flare, incorporating it into a knowledge base, even incorporating it into content that's on ServiceNow or Zendesk generating the content that we need so everything looks consistent. Um, if you've got any questions about this, you're more than welcome to contact us at Cherryleaf. Our email address is info at cherryleaf.com.